All right, so today we're gonna to be talking about one of my favorite things in life, drugstore makeup. I have a few similar videos to this, but I can't believe I've never actually done a favorite drugstore makeup video or like holy grail makeup from the drugstore all of the years I've been on YouTube. I have two different drugstore makeup starter kits, so if you're stumbling across this video and you're a beginner, I would recommend going and watching those videos because that's a good kind of starting point if you just go into the drugstore and you're kind of lost and confused in the world. Those videos should help you out. I had a good reflection sesh on the plane for an hour and a half and thought about what are my actual, true, holy grail drugstore products I've been using for years. Some of these products I've literally been using for over six years, seven years. Some of them are newer. If you've been following my channel for a while, you can probably guess like 80% of these, but I think some of them I use a lot and just don't ever talk about on my channel or they're favorites from like years ago and I still consider them awesome products. I just am constantly trying out different things. I am someone who believes that makeup is makeup. There's amazing high-end makeup. There's amazing drugstore makeup. The price tag shouldn't define whether a product is good or not. I've found a lot of drugstore products that are better than high-end and vice versa, so I just feel like just go into the drugstore with an open mind and don't forget to coupon because drugstores put every brand on sale, they just rotate it out throughout the week so you can save a lot of money if you learn how to coupon at the drugstore. I used to be super into couponing, if you watch me like three or four years ago, I couponed like every day. I was hardcore into it and I've toned it down a little bit, but it's just a super easy way to save some money at the drugstore. All right, let's get into the video. If you guys are excited for this, make sure you give it a thumbs up. While you're watching this, let me know your favorite drugstore products down below. So I tried to kind of pick one or a couple of products from each kind of category. So I'm just gonna go through them all. All of the products I'm talking about are gonna be linked down below in the description box. I think we're gonna start off with foundation because that's my favorite thing in life. This eyelash is not cooperating today. Pretty much nothing is cooperating today. I'm just having one of those days. All right, so I have four foundations to talk about, which is a little bit excessive, but I like each one for different purposes. So if you have pale skin, an all over favorite foundation of mine, which I think is just awesome, is the Rimmel Lasting Finish 25 Hour Comfort Serum Foundation in the shade 91 Light Ivory. I love how this is 25 hours. You can just do 24. I feel like this is such an underrated product. If this didn't break me out, I would wear this every single day. It lasts beautifully throughout the day, through working out, through sweating, pretty much anything. I love the shade of it on me. I did a full review on this foundation, which I'll link down below. I have combination skin with cystic acne. I like a more full coverage foundation. It covers everything I need to cover, but I could also see this working really well for someone with dry skin since it does have this like gel-like kind of formula. Everyone's skin reacts differently to different products, so my skin personally doesn't like Rimmel products. The Rimmel Stay Matte Powder breaks me out. Try this out. If it breaks you out, stop using it. If not, I'm jealous. So when I think to like my back in the day holy grail foundation, it is definitely the Maybelline Superstay foundation. Now I don't use this at all anymore since I don't self tan and the lightest shade is extremely dark. I think this is actually the second to lightest shade because the lightest shade is more orangey and this one is more beige. I kind of want to try and mix this in with stuff now because I haven't used this in probably, I don't even know, a year or two, but I used to use this every single day when I was self tanning. The finish of it kind of reminds me of the L'Oreal True Match Foundation. It has a super nice satin finish, but this is a lot more long lasting in my opinion. This has awesome coverage. If you're not pale, try this out. If you are pale, this will be way too dark, but you could try mixing it in with other stuff. Last foundation I wanna mention is just for mixing purposes. For me, I don't like this one alone, but the Hard Candy Glamouflage in the shade Porcelain is awesome for mixing in to lighten your foundations. If you're someone who wants a drugstore foundation but you struggle with finding one that's light enough, try mixing this in. You can get this at Walmart for like six bucks. Also, if you have super pale skin, if you're lighter than me, I have a full video on foundations that are too light for me. First, I'm gonna talk about what I use to set my under eyes. If you just found my channel this year, you probably only see me use the Stargazer powder, but before that, for years, I've been using the Physician's Formula translucent light setting powder to set the under eyes. If you're really pale, you could use this as an all over face powder. For me, this works awesome to set my under eye concealer. It's light enough. It's super hard finding a powder at all, drugstore or high end, that's actually light enough, and this one is. Physician's Formula always does buy one get one free and 40% off, so just wait till all of these drugstore brands go on sale. 
I use iHeart CVS and I think the other one's just iHeartRiteAid.com and they basically put out the weekly ads a few weeks in advance so you can see what sales are going to be coming up. So fuzzy. <laughs> My favorite all over setting powder from the drugstore when I am not pale. I use the Physician's Formula Mineral Face Powder in the shade Translucent and I've majorly hit pan on this. Both of these I've gone through, I don't even know how many over the years, probably like 20 of these each. This just sets your makeup beautifully. I totally forgot how much I love this until I used this on vacation when I was in Mexico and it just makes your face look airbrushed. It gives you such a pretty finish. It almost looks like a super finely milled like translucent setting powder. It gives you that airbrush kind of look. It does have coverage and if you're pale, the lightest shade won't be light enough, so I only recommend this if you're darker than I am. This is a super recent find, but I've just been in love with it. This is the Maybelline Superstay Better Skin Powder in the shade 10 Porcelain. Now this one is a tiny bit too dark, but I can make it work, especially if I'm wearing a foundation that's a tiny bit too light. This just has such a beautiful formula and finish. It's super soft and it really does just look like skin. It's a little bit more on the matte side. I usually like my setting powders to be a little bit illuminating, so this one is definitely more on the matte side, but if I want something that's just gonna fully set my face and like make my makeup not budge all day, I'll reach for this. This is awesome. I didn't wanna go too ham on the NYX and e.l.f. products just because I feel like those weren't drugstore products until a couple years ago. Probably more than that now. I don't know. They just feel different than like Maybelline and Revlon and OG drugstore brands to me. But I did throw in a few things because you can now get e.l.f. at Bartels, you can get e.l.f. at Target, NYX you can get at Ulta, you can pretty much get, get all these brands at any drugstore, Target, Walmart now. So I did throw in a couple of those brands. My favorite overall matte shadows from the drugstore is the e.l.f. Mad for Matte eyeshadow palette. This thing is awesome. I first tried this out in my e.l.f. one brand tutorial a few months ago and I've just been reaching for this a ton. Wish they had a better black. If they had a super black, like Makeup Geek Corrupt black in here, this would be the perfect palette. They have some really nice warm shades and just shades that you could use with literally any look. My favorite not matte eyeshadows are the L'Oreal Infallible Pro eyeshadows. These are like single shadows. These are pretty pricey, I feel like, for the drugstores, so make sure you get these on sale. I actually have the shade Gilded Envy on my lids right now, which is this super pretty greenish kind of... I don't even know what you call this. I think I have like five different shades of these. Literally any of them are beautiful. I feel like these apply best with your finger, but you can also use a brush and just spray it with some setting spray or water and then apply it to your lid and that's how you get the like crazy pigment. I do the same thing with this eyeshadow. This is the e.l.f. Mineral eyeshadows. These are loose. These have been around for years. These are awesome and so underrated. These wet are insanely pigmented. I love these. I've used these in a few different videos. This is the shade Elegant. This is definitely one of my favorites. It's like this light champagne color. These are a few dollars and they're just insane. I'm just going to power through these three products because you guys have heard me talk about these five billion times. Probably these two more than this mascara. Favorite eyeliner, hands down, Physicians Formula Eye Booster in Ultra Black. This thing is awesome if you're a beginner at making winged liner or you just have to do it super quick and like run out the door. Get this eyeliner, you won't be disappointed. Wet n Wild Mega Length Mascara. This is my favorite for bottom lash mascara. It has this super tiny wand, so you can just get in your bottom lashes really easily. I've been using this for ever since I've been on YouTube and before. It doesn't transfer down to my concealer at all. It's waterproof. Great. Favorite drugstore mascara is between Maybelline Lash Sensational and Maybelline Falsies. I love Maybelline mascaras. I don't have Maybelline Falsies mascara right now, which is why I'm showing you guys this one, but both of these are great options. I like mascaras that are typically curling. I feel like both of these are really all about the way that you apply them. They have a curved brush, so when I wear these, I like really work these into my lashes and apply a couple coats. Years ago, when there was no such thing as lightning products and foundation mixers and white foundations, this saved my life. This is the NYX HD 
photogenic concealer in the shade lavender. I always get asked what my favorite drugstore concealer is and I haven't found one that is like all in one for me besides a collection cosmetics, but you can't get that one in the US at the drugstore. But if you have pale skin and you're struggling to find a drugstore concealer, I would say get this in the shade lavender. You can literally mix this in with any concealer and it'll brighten it up and it'll make it light enough for your under eyes, which is one of the most challenging things with drugstore concealers or with any concealers, but I feel like there are definitely more high-end concealers that are pale. If you're not pale, I love the Maybelline Instant Age Rewind Concealer. Sometimes I'll use this and put a little bit of this on top and then just blend it out under my eye and it's light enough. This is just beautiful. You can't go wrong with this concealer. The only thing I hate about this is the applicator. It drives me insane, this little sponge thing. All right, highlighters. Physician's Formula Shimmer Brick Strips, can never remember the name of this, in Natural Nude. Warm nude and natural nude are beautiful. Lately, I've been feeling natural nude. It's just a little bit lighter. You can use these for so many different things. If you don't have this in your life, seriously go buy it. I would bet my first child that you would not be disappointed with this product. You can use this for like 5 billion different things. You can use it to highlight your cheekbones with the light shades right here. You can use it as a blush and just kind of swirl the pink shades. You can use it as a bronzer. You can use it as eyeshadow. If you have a deeper skin tone, just go in with the deeper golden shades as a highlight. If you have pale skin, these two shades right here as a highlight are insanely beautiful. The thing I love about this product is that it just has such an insane sheen to it. It doesn't look glittery. It doesn't look like shimmery eyeshadows on your cheek. This is like when I think of a true highlighter and how it should look, it's this product. More recent find, which has quickly become like holy grail status for me, is the Essence Eyeshadow in the shade 01 Snowflake. If you have a little bit darker of a skin tone, go with 08 Apricotta or Grammy Does Glammy. Grammy Goes Glammy. But I love the shade Snowflake. This is so freaking beautiful. This is actually an eyeshadow. You can get Essence at Ulta or Fred Meyer, by the way and it's a dollar or two dollars. I should probably figure that out by now. It is so soft, it's so buttery, it blends on your cheeks beautifully, it stays on all day. Contour and bronzer are one of the things that I haven't found a holy grail drugstore contour and bronzer yet. Blushes, this was a piece of cake. CoverGirl True Blend Blush in the shade Medium Rose 200. This is so freaking pretty. Swatching this and like when you put your finger on it, it doesn't do it justice. It just gives you such a pretty pinky rose glow. It does have a little bit of shimmer to it, so if you're someone that likes a totally matte blush, this one probably isn't for you, but I've just been using this a ton since it came out this year. Both of these blushes I actually got this year, but I've been using them every single day. I don't think I've reached for a different blush in a long ass time. This one right here is the Wet n Wild Color Icon Ombre Blush in the shade In a Purple Haze. So pretty if you like more purpley pink blushes on fair skin, this looks beautiful. If you just want the pink shade, you can go in with the top. If you want it both, you can swirl it if you're feeling a totally purple cheek, you do you. Wet n Wild blushes are awesome, especially the new formula. They recently reformulated and repackaged their blushes and they're like 50 times better now. Love Wet n Wild blushes. When I think of drugstore lipstick, my favorite, the first thing that comes to mind is Milani Matte Naked. I've gotten so many compliments on this shade. I used to wear this to work like every single day. It's one of those nude shades that looks like you're wearing lipstick, but it's just slightly darker than my lips, so it doesn't look too much for work, doesn't look too much for like everyday wear, and it freaking stays on. These aren't marketed as like long-lasting lipsticks, but they definitely are. I love the formula of these, not too stiff, not too creamy. I think my holy grail drugstore lip liners are by Essence. The formula of these are great, and they're one or two dollars. 11 in the nude is one of my favorite shades. I also like, what's our other nude one? Maybe it's 17 berry something. I'll put it down below, but pretty much all of their lip liners rock. You just can't go wrong with these. You could wear these by themselves or just put a little bit of lip gloss or lipstick over top. I wasn't gonna mention this until I saw LA Girl in Bartels, which is a drugstore here in Washington. So I'm pretty sure you can find this at some drugstore or online for sure. But this is the LA Girl Glide Gel Liner. 
I've used this in a ton of videos. This is probably my favorite black eyeliner for the waterline and just pencil liner. Glides on super easily, stays on the waterline, doesn't burn my eyes, and it's literally $2. So eyebrow products, this is the Ardell Brow Pomade. These things freaking rock. If you haven't wanted to spend money on the Anastasia Beverly Hills Dip Brow, these are a great alternative. They're actually a little bit creamier. I'm wearing the shade Medium Brown right now. I do have permanent brows, so on an everyday basis now, I don't typically put anything on my brows, but if I have like a full face of makeup on and eye look and stuff, sometimes I like to add a little bit more shape. When I had my black hair, the shade I wore was dark brown, and I've dug a pretty good hole in this one. They stay on all day, they don't budge, they don't smudge, and these are like eight or nine bucks. So I have two favorite drugstore primers. One of them I couldn't find, but it's the L'Oreal Pro. I'm gonna insert a picture right here because I can't even remember the name of it. This one is awesome at giving you a glow and making your makeup actually stay on longer. I repurchased this probably like 10 times. I don't know why I don't have it right now. Probably because I have like 40 primers I'm trying to go through first before I repurchase stuff. But another favorite primer is the Maybelline Master Prime Blur and Illuminate. This one is beautiful at giving your face a super healthy glow. It's not going to make your foundation look super dewy, but it just gives you kind of this like radiance to your skin. I don't think this one necessarily makes my makeup stay on longer. It just makes my skin look kind of healthier. My favorite setting sprays, not even just from the drugstore of all time, are two drugstore products, the L'Oreal Infallible Pro Makeup Extender Setting Spray. I like this one because one, the applicator doesn't squirt you like a freaking fire hose. It has a really nice spray tip where it just kind of mists your face. I do feel like this helps extend the longevity of my makeup. It doesn't have an obnoxious smell. Another favorite setting spray is Hard Candy Fast and Fabulous. You can get this at Walmart and I'm pretty sure this one is cheaper than the L'Oreal one. This one I feel like does almost a better job at actually making my makeup stay on longer. I like the finish that both of these give my foundation. I feel like they're pretty similar. The hard candy one might be a tiny bit more dewy. When I go through my 500 setting sprays that I have in my drawer, I will definitely be repurchasing this one first, I think. Is that everything? I feel like I did that semi-fast. Maybe. So that's everything. I hope I'm not majorly forgetting something that I use like every day. Love you guys. Thanks for watching. See you in my next video. Bye.